It has been non-stop filming. This camera has basically been rolling for the last week straight. And it's about seven o'clock in the evening on a Friday evening. It is only I in the vehicle along with the beautiful Mrs. After Prison Show. How you doing, beautiful? What if you announce that at the wedding? Oh, I'm going to. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. After Prison Show. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. After Prison Show. So we're back down in this part of Virginia Beach where we've been for a good part of this last week. In fact, uh, we went and we checked out the hotel where we were going to be staying at, where we weren't going to be staying at. And real quick, before I even say anything farther about that, baby, what was your reaction when you saw the video with the room? Um, I was shocked. <laughs> well, I'm so undeserving of that room. You're so undeserving. Baby, I, I want to treat you to the finest. You I'm know? not deserving. They may not have flat screen TVs and... You know, the pool may look a certain kind of way, but only the finest for my wife. Crazy thing about it is we are probably in all likelihood going to end up staying at that hotel for the wedding because we just can't find anything else within reason. So that's what it's going to be. Hey, we have to humble ourselves. That's <laughs> what we're going to do. But right now we've got another adventure underway. We're back out in the same area of Virginia Beach and we're getting ready to be staying the night in a hotel that's most certainly not going to be up to standards of even what we just went and looked at for the wedding. We're in the wrong business. What business should we be in? The hotel business. I think we should be in the hotel review business. That would be much better. We're getting ready to stay at a somewhat seedy hotel for a very important reason. Uh, this weekend we were supposed to be going to see this guy by the name of Vance Joy. He's a musician, really awesome music, really liked this guy a lot. Listened to this guy a lot while I was in prison. And a lot of these Vance Joy, or a lot of the Vance Joy songs were playing at our wedding. In fact, our song is this Vance Joy song. Well, he was supposed to be performing this weekend and then the show got canceled because the venue was no good. And all of a sudden today, Cody found this special shout out to Cody. All of a sudden today, it was announced there is a top secret concert that he will be putting on across the street from this seedy hotel that we're gonna be staying the night in. And the first 40 people in line tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. are gonna get special meet and greet passes to see this guy. And I got a feeling I'm going to be up at something like 4 o'clock in the morning trying to get in line. But by that point, it's probably going to be a ton of people. I wanted to bring the camera. I wanted to bring all of you along for this because you're going to see the length that I'm going to go to in an effort to get my beautiful future Mrs. After Prison Show these special meet and greet passes. Will I what succeed? If he tries to hit on me? If he tries to hit on you, I'll give you a pass, baby. This is your one pass, all right? You better shut the front door. <laughs> I'm kidding. If he hits on you, I mean, he'll, he's got good taste. So I guess we got to bust a U turn in this hotel. My God, there's traffic. Look, I got you. Oh, yeah, there's the hotel right here. That's baby, not bad. baby, welcome to the Ritz Carrollton. There's no cars here. Are we sure Look at this guy just hanging out. Oh uh, my god. This is great. That's probably right where our room's going to be at. Scared. <laughs> Let me go get my Expedia reservation. Oh, look at the other one. Oh god. Let me go get my Expedia. Maybe they're here for the Vance Joy show as well. Yeah, if I come back and he's over here by the car though. I'm scared. I'm going to hit him. Now, baby, I, I requested the honeymoon suite. Can you just hurry up and get me in the room? He gave me the Wi-Fi password. Oh, there's Wi-Fi? Are you sure we're 105? Yeah. This is nice. Am I doing this the right way? It's 
Let me try it. Hey, you want to go tell them the key don't work? They don't know me. He knows it's two guests. Here. Just go tell them the key don't work, baby. He's nice. He refixed it. Up, oh, lit up that time. Paradise. Wow. Oh my God! Look, they've got an antique chair. There's a flat screen TV. There's a flat screen TV at least. The beds look nice. Ish. Oh really? That. What is that? That's a. How about this one? But you, that's not in the travel wash brochure. Now, baby, we have to humble ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm humble. It ain't bad. It's a nice room. How the beds comfortable? Yeah, they are. <laughs> well, they're better than the other beds, then. I've uh, never seen so much popcorn in my life. It's a nice room. And again, the flat screen TV. So we've left the room and we've gone to the venue. It's a little small craft beer place super small i should have been filming inside of there but i wasn't but i will be filming when i go stand and wait to try to get these meet and greet passes we do have inside information as to what's going on with this show so this is super top secret and this guy is only going to be performing three songs he's like performing these three songs then hopping on a plane going to Philadelphia and playing a show the same day so this is super crazy that he's even doing this it's totally free but it's only for the first 40 people who get inside of the place the first 40 people get the meet and greet passes and they get inside but they said if you don't get the meet and greet passes you can stand outside the fence and you can watch this guy play What'd you say, man? I said lame. Well, one thing about it. I'm already putting together my game plan. It's 8-11 at night right now, and nobody's in line yet. I'm going to be in line at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I already know it. When I get these little things in my head, like I got to do this, I already don't sleep as it is. I'm going to be the first person in line. I'm going to try to do everything in my power to be the first person in line. They said, hey, the first person in line, you know, if they take a picture and they post it on social media, they get a special prize. And I'm like, well, what if I do you one better? What if I put it on a YouTube channel? It probably won't mean a damn thing, but I'll be posting pictures for sure. If I'm the first person in line, I'm gonna be posting some pictures. So we'll see how this thing works out. Oh, I remember the days. I remember the days when getting up at 3 a.m. or going to sleep at 3 a.m. would not be anything. Uh-uh. Look at this parking job. Unreal. At 3 a.m. nowadays, too old for this. So it's three o'clock in the morning and we're getting ready to go see if we can be the first person in line. And the first thing I gotta say is, you know, I've never in my life got up at three o'clock in the morning to go wait for seven hours <laughs> uh, for anything. I don't know. We're about to find out if we're the first. It's 3.19 in the morning. We are. Yes, we are. Are we the first? Yes, we are. Oh, my God. They said the first person gets a, gets a prize. Now, I got to say this also. I'm not being dramatic at all when I tell you I am not doing good this morning. I ain't tired. I mean, I am tired. 
but I woke up in the middle of the night. I woke up at 12 o'clock last night, sick as a dog, throwing up. I was doing bad. And yeah, I woke up at 12 o'clock, sick, throwing up, dying. I ate something last night called a oyster shooter. Now, this was a raw oyster in a shot glass with some beer. Only ate one of these things. We'll never eat that again. All I could think about last night as I was feeling sick was that oyster shooter. The first people in line. The line starts here. And we first. We here, three o'clock in the morning. We're gonna be waiting here for seven hours. So right now it's 3.30 something in the morning. And me and my fiance, we're the only ones here. We're the true fans. Yeah. You're gonna get the wedding invitation signed, aren't you, baby? Mm -hmm. Well, his lyrics are on it. And to think, you know, I, I cannot emphasize this enough. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I'm suffering from food poisoning right now. Last night when we went to bed, we went to bed probably about 10 o'clock last night, maybe a little <laughs> bit later, maybe a little bit later. But after we went to sleep, I just kept feeling sick. And this wasn't like a drinking sick at all. I wasn't drunk. I was, I don't think I was drunk, but I just felt nauseous, nauseous, nauseous. Felt like I had to throw up, felt like I had to poop, felt, I felt bad. And I finally got up at midnight, I did both. My fiance woke up, she was like, yo, are you okay? And then when I laid back down after doing all that, you know, I still felt kind of nauseous. I still feel kind of nauseous. I'm trying to drink a, a damn coffee right now and I feel, whoo, I feel bad. So the only thing I can think of where this even came from, you know, we did a lot yesterday. I ate a chicken wrap yesterday, I ate a TV dinner, I ate a prison meal with a whole bunch of hot sauce on it. But then we also went to dinner last night. I had a burger with crab meat, but I had a freaking oyster shooter. And this is a shot glass with a raw oyster in it in beer. And as I'm drinking this thing, I only had one of these and I'm drinking, I'm like, my, my God, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. The oyster was, I got to poop just thinking about it. I feel like I got zero sleep last night. I'm pretty sure I got zero sleep. <laughs> So, this is your life ahead with me. Waiting in line to try to get meet and greets. So it's like seven o'clock in the morning right now. We've been here for, I don't know, four hours. It's been eventful. I've been dealing with a moderate case of food poisoning. I'm doing a lot better now. And we've got three hours. We did find another place. Until we get the meet and greets. We are the first people here. Ain't nobody cut in front of us, girl. See the shirt I got on right here? It says after prison show. But don't think for a second I won't go back. I'm gonna hold down this spot in this line. It is eight o'clock in the morning and things are getting real. I can't show the line behind me right now because I've already made a lot of enemies. I'm catching crazy looks from the crowd right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna let you know if this is the last broadcast you received from me. <laughs> Please, <laughs> please let me assure you I did not go down without a fight. 40 people is what this thing is supposed to hold. Only 40 people are getting wristbands to see this show. And we've got 40 people here now. Wait, two dollars more? Things are beginning to get real. People are coming, they're trying to cut in line, hold spots. I don't know, I've never experienced anything like this before. We've got one hour until the radio station shows up. And my God, they are missing all of the excitement. It's like they've just left us out here to, <laughs> to fend for ourselves. And you know, I've sort of felt like this is man versus wild. I've sort of felt like this is Dogs survivor. Dogs and cats living together, total anarchy. <laughs> it is total anarchy. I'm running on zero sleep. I feel like a drug addict at this point. I'm sure I'm gonna look like one. Yes, the food poisoning oh, was real. It's not food poisoning. The food poisoning was real. I should be acting a way. <laughs> We're almost there. We are almost there. Well, beautiful, we have survived. Seven hours we've been waiting out here to be first in line. The door is about to open. We're about to get our wristband, and then we're leaving and coming back. 
at five o'clock to see the private show of Vance Joy. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. We were first in line. I can't emphasize that enough how hard me and my wife worked to be first. I mean, I've been mugging. We've dealt with a lot of animosity. We've made some friends. God, look at all those people. We got our wristband. So we're going to be seeing the show. There was no prize. Uh, the guy from the radio is kind of a... The guy from the radio is kind of a dick. Maybe we got some bad information last night. But we wore first. When they put the wristband on my wrist, I said, Hey, uh, we heard there's a prize for being first. And he said, Yeah, a wristband. <laughs> but it is what it is. You know what? Prize or no prize, we're getting to see a show that was canceled that my fiance has really wanted to see. We came, we saw, and we conquered. We were we were there first. So if there was a prize, we'd have won. All right, going back to the hotel room right now to check out, go home, and come back later on this afternoon to see the show. Totally worth it, right? Yeah. We love you, Vince Joy! We love you! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, what a good vibe. What a great vibe. So good. Okay, uh, I'm playing three songs, and uh, this is a song called Lay It On Me. I'm so gone. Anyone could see that I'm wasted. You cut through, and I just want to know what's in your head. Write it on a piece of paper, honey Yeah! Mm -hmm. Put it in my coat before I go Hidden in a place you know I'll find it Oh, later when I'm sitting all alone What time is it? It's 6.49. Aggie's probably like, where is my food at? Uh, but we are finally leaving from this place called Mix It Up. This is where Vance Joy performed at. This was a very secret uh, concert. There was only 40 people who were allowed in here. <coughs> we went through a lot of Dealt with some animosity. Dealt with some people who were, you know, kind of rude about the fact that we were here first and everything like that. But it turned out to be really, really awesome. Did it not? I met Joy. My wife, she met Vance Joy. And the craziest thing about it is, I'm pretty sure you can't really see this, but he signed our wedding invitation that has his lyrics on this. And he says, congratulations guys, much love. 
Vance Joy. What a little smiley face. He really took a lot of time to, to sign this thing. So that was really cool. I got to admit one thing. <clears throat> After the show was over, they did a little thing where everybody who had a wristband could take a picture with Vance Joy. And look, he had a concert and the concert was canceled and had the concert taken place. You know, none of this would have ever happened. Getting to take a picture with Vance Joy, having an opportunity to get the wedding invitation signed. Everybody rushed us to the front of the line saying, this is number one, this is number two. We've been here since three o'clock this morning. That was and, really cool. Yeah, and by this point, I am super... I will cry. <laughs> I will cry and I would like this. <laughs> Yo, we got your lyrics on up on a wedding invitation. <laughs> I was crying. I mean, I like Vance Joy. I've been listening to this dude since I was locked up in prison. That's when I first started hearing his music. And now, you know, we're walking down the aisle where people are being seated at our wedding to Vance Joy music. We've got like two songs during the whole seating ceremony. So the dude signed our, our wedding invitation. And we also got to take some pictures with him. And that was just... That was super cool. So, you know, we might not have gotten a prize at the door for being first. I dealt with food poisoning this morning, feeling like, not feeling like, this is literally what was happening. I was puking, I was pooping. Both at the same time, I did this twice. But you know what? It all paid off. And my wife got to meet Vance Joy. Yeah. And he was super nice. And you cried. And I cried getting the wedding invitation signed. He knew it was serious then when I was sitting there crying. Why did you cry? And because it was just such a sentimental moment, you know? Look at what we went through to make that happen. I know. The yeah. hotel. People were like rooting for us. It was crazy. They were. There was only two people who were against us, mm -hmm. but you know what, the hell with them. I wanna give a very special shout out real quick, not only to Vance Joy for being just such an awesome dude. This dude didn't even get paid for this concert. Uh, when the radio station showed up this morning to hand out these wristbands, they said this guy gets $40,000 a show. He did this for free. He played three songs, that was it. He played, he could have played three better songs. Did you like all three? Yeah. Laying on me is our wedding song. Yeah, it is. And then to be able to meet this guy and, you know, just to see how nice of an individual this dude is, that was really, really awesome. But I want to give a special shout out to Mix It Up, a place out in Virginia Beach. Super awesome venue. Super, I mean, it's a bar. That's really what it is. They got a bunch of um, it's cool, though. craft beers on tap. We met the owner. The owner was super nice. We met the owner's wife. She was super nice. We met the owner's wife's brother. Super nice guy by the name of Hunter. Special shout out to him as well. Young kid who's working in there as well. And also a big fan of At The Prison Show. When we first went in there, you know, he was like, hey, you know, I rock with the channel. So, all I want to say is it couldn't have turned out any better than it did. Stay.